All right, my people, we to, we to Pro Max today in Biafra land as the indigenous people of Biafra. Yes, eh, as the Biafra Liberation Army has lost the member, the IPOP has lost the member in hot, fresh attack. Yes, eh, the Prime Minister eh, Simon Eber has also blown hot, has also reacted to this with the uh, immediate effect. All right, my people, without further ado, we'll be going into the details of this news. Remember, we are your one and only Let's Talk TV. All right, uh, tension has uh, risen in Biafra land as another violent confrontation between the security forces, uh, the zoo terrorists, and the Biafra Liberation Army. The indigenous people of Biafra have uh, left uh, its one, uh, several, one dead and several injured. The incident uh, occurred in early hours uh, in the morning and has further heightened and already volatile situation in the region. The latest uh, clash uh, took place in the outskirts of uh, the Biafra land southeast where the, there was reportedly a meeting and there was an attack in that same joint by the rather by the joint tax force of the zoo military and the zoo army and the zoo police units and according to the eyewitnesses the forces ambushed a gathering and uh, this is where they were caught a waffle details still remain unclear it is confirmed that uh, one member has been confirmed dead Yes, killed while others are sustaining injury. The identity of the disease has not yet been released officially, but the death has sent shockwaves to the Biafran community, with uh, many accusing the government of launching a brutal crackdown on peaceful activists. Local pres residents uh, described the scene as a chaotic with gunfire erupting with Without the warning, the um, this one is coming from someone within the area. He said we heard gunshots and saw people running helter skelter, running in every direction. Everyone was scared, and uh, we had witnessed it from witnessed the attack from a distance. In response to the death, uh, the there has been a call for immediate like i said immediate retaliation condemning what they called the state-sponsored terrorism which is what they've been doing right from time it is not a new thing it is not a it is not something that is new one way or another it is something that has been clear right from time the tension has risen all over the place of course, the PM has come out in a fiery broadcast and they has blown hot, lashed out at the zoo authorities and vowed retribution over the death of the member. Eba has uh, gained, Eba, who has gained a full-time reputation for his hardline stance on the Biafra independence, condemned the zoo government for what uh, they did a cowardly and unprovoked attack on his people he has come out and has said that this particular black day will not be forgotten at any point in time uh, but has uh, declared in a live stream which uh, of course is being followed by thousands of his supporters and followers the blood of these fallen heroes will not be in vain the nigerian government must answer for their crimes we will continue to resist this occupation and we will not rest until Biafra is free. Eba's words uh, have further inflamed and caused more reaction. The zoo government has yet to officially make a statement on the latest clash, but sources within the military have defended the action. Of course, that is what they will see as a necessary response to the group. They consider a threat to national security. But my people, they consider these people a national threat to national security while there are others. Their own people causing more mayhem than you would 
ever think of in your entire life and they don't they've not seen it they've not looked at it as a as as national security calls <laughs> maybe we should just let you know how far these people are ready to go or how far these people are ready to take whatever it is whenever it comes to anything that looks like it's southeast or Igbo shows how backward they are and how far they would go to do anything listen this is not a joke the fact that this particular this set of things keep happening and they, they feel that they can get away with it because it is what actually what they think they feel they would be able to like get away with every single thing they do is very outrageous now they are suffering for the consequences they are suffering for the consequences of the things that are happening to them uh, he says here yeah, that trouble is brewing in delta states after the bodies of policemen killed by fulani headsmen were discovered a collaborative effort between security forces and local vigilantes resulted in the retrieval of diseased police officers' bodies belonging to the IRT Abuja PMF 51 Ogara and anti kidnapping squad Asaba. So, uh, these are the set of people that their bodies were found recently. In uh, recently, that were killed by Fulani headsmen. And they, they are still keeping these people in their stead. <laughs> they are still keeping this set of people in their stead. And that is why we can never allow them to encroach into our own land. They have already encroached. They have started entering. Uh -huh. But we will not allow them to do that anymore. Because the more they encroach, the more they enter into our land, the more they take over and want to feel that they have something they, they, they need to do in our, in our place. And we will not let them have that. Yes, we can never let them have that. Okay, uh, it continues. The recovered corpses of the officers have been deposited at Mariri Central Hospital Morgue in Ugili. Disclosed a senior security source at the Delta State Police Command, speaking on the condition of anonymity. The recovery operation conducted in Ugili North Local Government Area of Delta State followed extensive search efforts in the forest on both Sunday and Monday. So these people have been missing for some time. On January 24th, 2024, three officers, all inspectors, were dispatched to the Aurora community in Ugili North, Delta State, in response to a distress call made by an individual named Moses Progress. The distress caller alleged an attack by suspected Fulani headsmen leading to the officers' deployment. Tragically, they never returned and with their face shrouded in uncertainty. So they called these people and they sent only three police officers instead of them to send a full squad to go and handle these people. Fulani headsmen normally move in bulk and you send only three people. What do you expect? Of course, they have taken them down. Although the police authorities in Delta State have remained silent about the incident, a group of local vigilante members discovered the bodies of some of the slain officers, the report continued. Operation Hots, belonging to the suspected killer Fulani headsmen, were demolished and six corpses were found in the Agadama bush, while the whereabouts of the 15 others remain unknown. Regarding the discovery, the anonymous security source further elaborated. They spent over three hours at the hospital morgue during the documentation before being attended to at Ugili Central Hospital. Another source, when queried, mentioned no details yet, and I will get back to you as we progress, indicating ongoing investigation into the matter. My people, this is what it is, and this is what uh, things would always end up to be, so far as it concerns the Fulani headsmen being allowed to encroach. Because these Fulani headsmen, they are trouble. They are full-time trouble. And the earlier we get to find out that these people do not have a place with us, and they can never have a place with us in the southeast, I don't care about wherever they are in Abuja or wherever, those people, they can allow them encroach into their land. But in our own land, Abia states, Imo states, Eboin states, Enugu states, and the rest. We are not allowed to let them in. 
we cannot let them in if not we risk losing lives of maybe innocent farmers innocent people that are around and that is the reason we must avoid we must avoid anything that will allow us calm down when we see them encroaching or entering into our land we cannot do that we cannot let them do that and so because of that we'll always be at alert to make sure that they do not encroach into our land to to do things that are not uh, uh, that to do things that would cause mayhem or trouble in our in our society or in our community and yes we've come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and uh, turn on your notifications too. Thank you.